Hello and welcome to Brick Boy Movies Review, where me, Brick Boy, talks about movies. Today, as you can see, we're talking about, well, by this and by the title and by the thumbnail, we're talking about new Toy Story movie, new Pixar movie, Toy Story 4. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. So, yeah. So, mm, there will be spoilers in this video at one point in time. Um, right now there's no spoilers, but when, when I get to the spoiler section, I'll tell you about it. Since the movie just came out yesterday, I think, when I'm going to be uploading this video. But I saw it, um, the day it came out in, in America, 21st. But, yeah. So, there was a lot of debate on whether the new Toy Story movie would be good, whether we even needed one. And I really was in the middle. I didn't know if it would be good or not, or if we really needed another one. I thought Toy Story 3 tied it up really good. But I think this one was great. Um, I think it's kind of on par with Toy Story 3. I think it was really good. A lot of people, or some people are saying it's better than Toy Story 3. I don't know. Might be... I don't know. I really like Toy Story 3, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just talk about Toy Story 4 for a little bit, spoiler free. So, um, Porky, I really liked Porky. If you don't know, he's a new character in this movie. He was in all the trailers, so it's not really that much of a spoiler if you've seen the trailers. Um, yeah, I really liked Porky in this movie. Um, this movie, like, was really funny. Like, not that the others Pixar, this one just had more of a comedic tone and vibe to it and the jokes they weren't bad either they were like I found myself laughing a lot and I'm not one to laugh at jokes much but I laughed at these jokes a lot so that's anything yeah but yeah I just really really enjoyed this movie um really fun experience but yeah, um, the plot was really nice. Um, it was a lot different, because one big thing about Toy Story 3 that some people don't like, people think it's too similar to the second one, which I get. I didn't think it was that similar, but I understand the similarities there. There's a lot of similarities. Toy Story 4 had a fresh new plot, and I really liked the ending. The ending was great, too. Um, all the characters were good. Um... None of them were really bad. The only one that I think could have been toned down a little bit, I think they were kind of overly comedic, were the, uh, the bunny and the duck. But they were really funny for a lot of the movie. Just towards the end, it felt like they were getting a little too overwhelming. But that's not that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. Um, I think Keanu Reeves did a really good job. I think, like, everybody's talking about Keanu Reeves these days. Because I just actually watched John Wick earlier today before I watched Toy Story 4. Before I even knew I was going to watch Toy Story 4. It's a small world, I guess. But, yeah. So, yeah, I thought all of that was great. Um, and I don't... I think this kind of tied up the plot nicely. Um, if you see it... And I'm going to talk about spoilers after, in a second, but if you see it, you'll know what I mean. Like, I don't think there's really that many much room for any sequels. But yeah, so I really like this movie. Um, just to end off the spoiler-free part, I will probably be giving it a solid 8 out of 10. thought it was really good. But yeah, now onto the spoilers. So yeah, spoiler time. If you have not seen this movie, click off the video, unless you really don't care, and you want it to get spoiled, then I, I don't know, you might be insane. But yeah, so let's, let's go. Spoiler time. So, spoiler time. Um, so, in the beginning, the, uh, Bo Peep, a Bo Peep, hand off to another kid. Um, I don't, I, I liked it, I thought it was really good way to kind of show how, because before we didn't really know what happened to Bill Peep, but now we kind of know what happened, 
And it kind of felt like they were planning this from Toy Story 3, which I guess they would have been, but it just felt really nice. And then the, uh, the way Forky was made, I think, was really creative with uh, Woody kind of helping her, I guess. And um, Forky himself was funny with the uh, kind of existential crisis, kind of that he's trash or whatever, but... I, I, I like the character of Forky. He might be annoying to some people, but I thought he was a great character. I thoroughly enjoyed him. Um, but, and the, the, the road trip plot. I think, when I first heard it was going to be a road trip plot, I was kind of scared. I didn't know if they were going to handle it well, but I think it turned out nicely. And just the animation in this movie... This isn't really a spoiler, but it's great. Like, it's, it's top, top notch, high quality stuff. Um, just compared to the original Toy Story, it's insane, but that's not a spoiler. I just thought I would say, just say that. And the plot with uh, Gabby Gabby is, um, I think, enjoyable. Um, it wasn't necessarily a twist villain. It was kind of a twist not villain because there wasn't really a solid villain in the story. I guess you could be considered a villain, but kind of turned out good in the end. I guess kind of the opposite of Lotso from the Toy Story 3. He turned out bad in the end, but Gabby Gabby turned out good in the end, which, yeah, I thought that was fine. But, yeah, just the whole movie I thought was really great. I think you should go see it if you're a fan of Toy Story. And if you're not, I think you should give it a chance. Um, but yeah, that's really it for this video. But yeah. That's really it. Um, again, I give this movie an 8. It's a really good movie. Really good Toy Story movie. Um, yeah, again, I think it's maybe even better than 3. I don't know. Because I think 3 is a lot better than most people think it is. But, yeah, because some people think it's, like, the worst of the series, which I think it is, but not by a lot. But, yeah, I think all four of them are great. This is one of the only movie series that I think has all four inclusions that are really, really good. Like, I can't think of any other movie series that has, like, a quad trilogy. I don't know what you call it, but that are all good. I think of a lot of movies that have four movies, but none of them that are all good. Or a lot of movie series that have four movies, but none of them that are all good. This is like, I don't know, maybe one of the first series to have four movies that are all good, like in a row. Uh, I guess that's debatable, though. But yeah, that's really it. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. That's really it. Um, again, I give this movie an 8. It's a really good movie. Really good Toy Story movie. Um, yeah, again, I think it's maybe even better than 3. I don't know. Because I think 3 is a lot better than most people think it is. But, yeah, because some people think it's, like, the worst of the series, which I think it is, but not by a lot. But, yeah, I think... All four of them are great. This is one of the only movie series that I think has all four inclusions that are really, really good. Like, I can't think of any other movie series that has, like, a quad trilogy. I don't know what you call it, but that are all good. I think of a lot of movies that have four movies, but none of them that are all good. Or a lot of movie series that have four movies, but none of them that are all good. This is, like, I don't know, maybe one of the first series to have four movies that are all good, like, in a row. Uh, I guess that's debatable, though. But, yeah, that's really it. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.